What's up everybody? Once again, it's Brad Man Sean Boy on Chip. But today we're going over three things that producers need to know to really be able to make more money. But first, that requires an understanding of why it sucks to be a producer today. Historically, how have producers made their money? The back end. Now what's the problem with that? Of course, music sales are down. So how producers are really making that cash after music sales went up and they got that percentage, since that's not really happening anymore, they're actually putting out more and more music because artists are putting out more and more music. And artists are happy putting out more music than ever because now they're out there touring. But while all these artists are out there touring, making so much money from their tours, even though they're not selling any records, producers are sitting home like this guy. Or best case scenario, this guy who is grinding, making new tracks. So the lights can stay on and all the other bills get paid, but that's like being on a treadmill and that's not the goal, I assume. Point is, it sucks that producers are basically the center of the music industry as far as helping create those sonics that inspire artists to create their songs. However, they're at the butt of the industry financially. They have to really, really work hard. So, three ways to make more money or at least understand that's gonna help you make more money as a producer. Number one is multiple streams of income. Now, a lot of people are doing audio engineering and other parts of the music creation process, but you know and I know that's not really going to allow you to escape and blow up and get to that point where you are where you want to be. Unless you become a big artist, personal audio engineer and are able to hike your prices up. That's a real thing. And then you have producers that become DJs too, but when you're in hip hop, that's a very, very hard thing to do. There's so much more money in um, EDM and uh, so many other genres, but hip hop, mm, they don't really pay their DJs too, too well, unless you're at the cream of the crop and even the top people, like let's say DJ Envy or somebody get paid way, way less to DJ than Calvin Harris who's getting paid like $70 million a year. Number two, up your fees. You can always up your fees. However, that's kind of hard to do when you don't have the biggest brand, but you can at least up your fees a little bit if you can find somebody to pay it. Since you're not going to make as much money off the back end, typically, and that potential isn't there, you want to find ways to get a little bit more on the front end. Full transparency, obviously both of those things are not the easiest thing to do. So the best bet is number three, which is strengthen your brand. Why? Because if you strengthen your brand, it's easier to charge more money, right? Like an audio engineer who gets attached to a big artist has a stronger brand, so then they charge people more money. And also when a producer has a big brand, it's easy for them to do something like Metro Boomin and create these other streams of income and have their own merch and something like that because it's hard to sell merch on your brand if you don't really have a brand. Rihanna and all these other people have all these clothing brand associations and things like that, but you don't see as many producers like that because they're brands, they're behind the curtains. And I know this is very, very hard for a lot of the producers because maybe they like being behind the scenes, but I'm just saying this is a very real option if you're willing to brand yourself and you can go back and look at a lot of things I speak about with artists because Producers can utilize the same methods that artists do to brand themselves. It'll take some pioneering, but you can do it because people like Pharrell, Timbaland have already set some of that ground up. Metro Boomin is doing a great job at branding himself as a producer like no other producers are really doing these days, particularly in hip hop. But of course you got people like Skrillex and David Guetta who are just killing the game. I'll do some more producer specific breakdowns of that's what people want to see in the future at some point. Um, but other than that, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.